our next topic is the protestant mission <clears throat> the early 18th century while the jesuits were still carrying on their ministry or their work in tamil nadu the protestant missionaries first appeared in india that also in tamil nadu christianity and the colonial powers during the previous century trading companies of other european nations besides portugal had established stations in india and most of the newcomers were protestants and many of their stations were along the east coast of india the dutch settled at pulicat sadras and nagapattanam the british at masulipattanam madras kadalur and calcutta the french at pondicherry the danish or danish at two places whose names are household words in indian church history trankobar that is tarangambadi in what is now the tanjore district or tanjore district of tamil nadu in 1620 and serampur in 1676 that is in bengal near calcutta the french were roman catholics but the rest were protestants and it was in their stations that protestant mission work began not that it was in any way their policy to spread protestant christianity among the people of india they never tried and they never had an intention of spreading christianity in their colonial areas but the man who first conceived the idea of sending protestant missionaries to india was king frederick of denmark or king frederick 4 of denmark he was a lutheran and he asked his court chaplain to him he assigned the task of finding suitable men suitable people not having been able to find any in denmark so he did not find anyone in denmark applied to his friends in germany and there two young theological students of halle university named bartholomew siegenberg and henry plucho agreed to go they were products of a revival movement called pietism which had begun in the lutheran church in germany in the last quarter of the 17th century and they were brought to denmark and ordained not without objection for the lutheran bishop in that country together with many other clergy in the lutheran church was critical of pietism they were then sent out to trankobar as royal missionaries at the personal expense of the king so it came about that the first protestant missionaries to india were german lutherans sent by a king of denmark and they arrived at trankobar on the 9th of july 16 1706 the authorities there had not been advised of their coming and the account of them given the captain of the ship who had personal reasons for disliking them was very unfavorable even while they were traveling in the ship it soon became clear that no welcome awaited them it was 3 days they could get a boat to take them ashore from the ship and when at last they did get to land and presented themselves at the entrance to the fort with their papers addressed to the danish commandant these were taken from them and they were kept waiting there from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 in the afternoon then the commandant jc hosius appeared with some members of the council and the two danish chaplains of the place to ask them their business and they receiving a grudging permission to ent- enter they followed the official party to the market place only to be left there standing in the street where they might have remained all night 
but for a junior official who took pity on them and led them to the house of his wife's parents a few days later this family found them a house in the portuguese quarter they began their work by setting themselves to learn portuguese and tamil they learned portuguese because it was the common language then in use in the european trading stations of south india and tamil because it was a language of the people they also found a sphere of work among the many german soldiers serving in the danish east india company's troops for whom they were able to hold services in their own language another sphere of work which they found for themselves was among the domestic servants of the europeans they managed to prevail upon the commandant to issue orders that these people were to be given leave for 2 hours every day to receive christian teaching it was among these people the domestic servants of the officials that the missionaries found their first catac humans means the per- first people whom they taught christian teachings these five in number they began to teach in their house in november 1706 in the following may they were examined in the danish church in all the articles of faith and baptized also the missionaries used to adopt orphan children of purchasing them from their guardians in this way the nucleus of a small orphanage was formed the children were baptized and brought up as christians they were also taught german and a portuguese and a tamil school were also started as soon as he was able sigan back and they did religious discussions with hindus in tamil and began to preach to them in tamil since a european who could speak tamil and was interested in discussing hindu religious beliefs was a rarity in those days so he did not lack any audience but one mean and another little congregation was formed and as early as august 1707 a small mission church was built outside the fort the first tamil converts nine in number were baptized in the following month thank you